Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a magnetic reversal update on June 1st, Tuesday evening around 10 p.m. Mountain Time. In a paper coming out around a week ago is literally mind blowing because it, it puts to rest a lot of the false information about our magnetosphere how the magnetic field on Earth is created and posits a new theory on what may actually be happening based on actual science. Now, a couple things I want to bring your attention to. This was published in the Advances in Social Sciences Research Journal, not a geophysical journal or a magnetic reversal journal or anything like that because it goes against the mainstream paradigm and the dogma. And no way would this get peer reviewed in that setting. So in this setting, it is excellent because it's going to be well read. And let's just dive into it. And the title of the paper is reasons why geomagnetic field generation is physically impossible in Earth's fluid core. Because it's physically impossible in Earth's fluid core because Earth doesn't have a fluid core. Now, despite the importance for understanding the nature of the geomagnetic field and especially its potential for radically disrupting modern civilization, virtually all scientific publications relating to the geomagnetic field are based on the false assumption that the geomagnetic field is generated in Earth's fluid core. I'm sure you learned this in high school and many of you in undergraduate college. And by adhering to an outmoded paradigm, members of the geoscience community have potentially exposed humanity to globally devastating risks, leaving it unprepared for an inevitable geomagnetic field collapse, which we are in right now, by the way. Now, there is no scientific reason to believe that the geomagnetic field is generated within the fluid core, period. And this paper lays it all out for you. So stick with us. Convection is physically impossible in the fluid core due to its compression by the weight above and its inability to sustain an adverse temperature gradient. And frankly, there is no evidence of ongoing inner core growth to provide energy to drive thermal convection or to cause compositional convection at all. So there is no evidence for this fairy tale convection that's happening inside of our planet. Uh, and there's no mechanism to account for the magnetic reversals and no means for magnetic seed field production within the fluid core to initiate dynamo amplification which means that the entire story we've been fed of the inner and outer core creating the magnetic field is gobbledygook because there is no evidence that any of it's happening. And if that's been going on for decades, a hundred years. Um, and the evidence is overwhelming. Now, real quick, let's get you up to speed. Here is a schematic representation of the geomagnetic field, which is correct. The sun is always to the left. The solar wind produces the first bubble, and then you have the tails here of the magneto sheath of the planet Earth. Now, it has been our contention for quite some time on this channel and over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project that the Earth is swelling, it's growing. The Earth is getting bigger. And this is because the Earth is connected to a Berkeley current through our sun, through the North and South Pole, back to our sun. And it is this very Berkeley current that forms a Z pinch at the center of our planet, similar to the Z pinch powering our sun and powering other planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and so on. It is the Z pinch itself which acts like a fission reaction, a nuclear reactor in the center of our Earth that creates the magnetic field that we see today. And the same thing happens in the sun. And this is all fed by the energy from the Milky Way galaxy. So the galaxy is controlling, ultimately, the field strength on all the objects 
throughout the Milky Way. And that has been our contention. And this paper is, well, it has a different idea, but it's very similar. And it goes through understanding thermal convection and how it is absolutely impossible that the mainstream argument here is what's going on. Here are major portions of the Earth's interior and the fluid core density variations in grams per centimeter cubed as a function of radius and kilometers. And using simple physics and chemistry and thermodynamics, none of the ideas of the liquid core idea forming a magnetic field work because you cannot form convection at these temperatures and depths. And the counter arguments go through it quite concisely here. Counter argument one, if the Earth's fluid core were heated at the bottom, the heat would be rapidly transferred to the core top, heating that region, reducing the adverse temperature gradient. To maintain convection in the fluid core, heat must be removed from the surface at virtually the same rate it is brought from the bottom of the fluid core. However, this is physically impossible because the fluid core is surrounded by a thermally insulating blanket called the mantle, which has lower thermal conductivity, lower heat capacity, and greater viscosity than the fluid core. Counter argument two, due to compression by the weight above, the density at the bottom of the fluid core is 23% greater than the density at the top, as shown in figure three. Decrease in density at core bottom by thermal expansion, less than 1%, cannot make the core top heavier than the core bottom, i.e. it cannot make the fluid core unstable. And these are the conditions for thermal convection. So thermal convection cannot happen. Counter argument three, calculation of high rally number from earth core parameters is not indicative of convective instability as is widely believed. So the math doesn't even add up. Counter argument four, a dynamo is a magnetic amplifier and requires an ambient magnetic field to initiate amplification. In earth's fluid core, there is no obvious source of magnetic seed fields to initially amplify the effect, but there is in our solar system. Counter argument five, Despite more than 80 years of scientific investigation, no viable mechanism has been discovered in the Earth's fluid core that could account in a logical, causally related manner for the numerous geomagnetic reversals and excursions that have been documented through geologic time. In other words, not only can convection not happen in the fluid core, but magnetic reversals don't have a mechanism either. But if we're connected to the solar system and then subsequently the Milky Way through Birkeland currents, it is the electrical potential coming from our galaxy that is controlling the magnetic reversals. And we'll get to that. Counter argument six, there is no energy source within the fluid core to sustain convection, period. Geoscientists who believe the geomagnetic field is produced by convection in the Earth's fluid core invariably promote the idea that the inner core consists of partially crystallized iron metal. And it's all based on a 1940 paper. Without corroborating evidence, they assume the inner core is growing and its growth powers both thermal and compositional convection. And here's that paper there, the nickel silicide inner core of the earth. And that's what we're still working on. A paper from 70 years ago that has no corroborating evidence. Sound like a fairy tale? Yeah, because it is. Now, let's look at some more fairy tales. The picture of the earth that we've always seen. But let's add to it a, a microscopic dot at the very, very center a tiny plasmoid at that center, which they're calling the subcore here with a subshell. It would just be like, well, it would be like a tiny sphere, maybe the size of a stadium. But what it would be is a fission reactor, a nuclear reactor in the center of our planet, which is controlled externally by the solar system. 
and subsequently the galaxy itself. In a series of publications beginning in 1993, the author demonstrated the feasibility that it, an accumulation of uranium at the Earth's center maintains a self-sustaining nuclear fission chain reaction, which they call the georeactor. It provides both the energy source for the geomagnetic field generation and a location not in the fluid core, but in the georeactor itself wherein it can generate the geomagnetic field. A dynamo mechanism. So this is pretty amazing. And it's just a tiny central speck of the entire Earth. And the inner and outer core are a result of this reaction. They're not creating the magnetic field. But the molten fluid material is because of the extreme heat at the plasmoid in the center, in our opinion. In his opinion, the georeactor. And we can agree to disagree on what to call it. But the, but the same thing is happening at some level. And here, figure seven is a schematic representation of the georeactor. Planetary rotation and fluid motions are indicated separately, and the resultant motion is not shown. But stable convection with adverse temperature gradient and heat removal is expected with this hypothesis. Conclusions. Despite the importance for understanding the nature of the geomagnetic field, especially its potential for disruptions on our Earth, which could have devastating consequences for modern humanity, virtually all of the scientific publications and community relating thereto are based upon false assumptions that the geomagnetic field is generated in the Earth's fluid core. And now this should be scary for many of you because it is. It shows how inept the geosciences has become in the last several decades. There is no reason to believe that the geomagnetic field is generated within the fluid core as widely believed and promulgated. Convection is physically impossible in the fluid core due to its compression by the weight above and its inability to sustain an adverse temperature gradient, which is needed for convection. There is no evidence of ongoing inner core growth that has been assumed to provide energy for thermal and compositional convection. Moreover, there is no mechanism to account for magnetic reversals and no means for magnetic sealed production within the fluid core to initiate the dynamo amplification. Whew. That basically disproves all of the current ideas on magnetic field generation and what our Earth looks like. Amazing. Why isn't this front page news on all media outlets? Well, I think you know the answer. Now, if we think about a plasmoid in the center of the Earth, or as this author calls it, Earth's nuclear georeactor. Oh, where do we go? That actually is the seat of its geomagnetic field. Has none of the problems inherent in, in putative fluid core geomagnetic field production, meaning there's no density issues, there's no adverse convection issues. And with a mass of about one 10 millionth that of the fluid core, a georeactor subshell, subshell convection can potentially be disrupted by great planetary trauma. Did you hear that? Such as an asteroid impact or by a major solar outburst or even by human activities. For example, by deliberate electromagnetic disturbance of the near Earth environment, including the Van Allen belts. So what they're saying here is that we could cause a magnetic excursion if we tweak the Van Allen belts. Or the sun could potentially control the magnetic field. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. The sun clearly controls this field. As a geologist, I've been looking in the field uh, at hundreds of sites since the 1980s. And I see the same thing at all sedimentary basins that every 12,000 years, there is a change in facies environment, which means the environments go from deep to shallow, deep to shallow, deep to shallow. Every 12,000 years, we have a deep, a deep phase and a shallow phase, creating a 25, 26,000 year cycle in a whole with a deep phase and a shallow phase based on environments. And this has been driven for hundreds of millions of years, nonstop by an external source, not our earth. It is controlled by a galactic current and potentially the galactic current sheet. Scientists have fundamental responsibility to tell the truth 
and to provide scientific understanding that benefits humanity. The problem is there is, well, a lack of credibility for a number of reasons that I explained in this video. I hope you got something out of it. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a dystopian world where facts are right in your face based on physical experiments and science that we already know, yet the mainstream, well, they won't even look at a beaker. What a tweaker. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. For updates, click the bell. And be well. We love you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Well, and to the complete reworking of geomagnetic field theory. And that's a boom. Be safe. Na, na, na.